everybody. First of all, I hope everybody is safe and well at home and really missing everybody, really missing being at school. Hopefully we'll all be back together soon. Um, this video is just showing you how you can practice some of your spellings. Okay, so first of all, find this page in your homework diary. Okay, this is the 300 high frequency words. Um, if you think you might know most of these words, then you've also got the year three and four words and the year five and six words that you can have a look at as well. You need to start by finding which words you don't know how to spell. So the only way to do that is to ask somebody to test you on these words. Now don't do all 300 at once. Um, the children who I work with at school know that I, uh, we do little tests every now and then and we just find three words that they are not sure how to spell and then we stop there so we don't keep going and keep testing all the words. Okay, so I'm going to pretend that I'm doing this, okay, and I'm going to pretend that I'm testing somebody and I'm going to highlight the words that they know and I'm going to keep going until we find three that we don't know. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top line. So A is okay, can, from, new, now, right, we're going to pretend that we've got should wrong. So rather than highlighting it, I'm just going to pop a dot by that one so that I can remember that's one we need to work on. And true. Okay, we've got about correct. Car, get, no. The next one we might need to work on is number. Okay, so I've got three words there that I've identified that I need to work on. Just three at a time we're going to practice and I'll show you different ways that you can practice those and you can choose whichever one you think helps you the most or you can do different ones to help you. Okay, so I've identified those three words that I need to practice. I've written them out fairly big and I've just made sure that I've got the spellings correct. And I would practice just three words every day for five days, Monday to Friday, just for five minutes each, um, perhaps using a different technique each time or using my favourite one. And I would spend five days learning those and then the following Monday I would ask somebody to test me on those three Then hopefully I'll be able to get those three highlighted off from my list and then I can carry on finding the next three words that I need to practice. Okay. So the first one that I like to do, and I know some children like to do, is to see how many times you can write that word in 30 seconds. So just get set yourself a timer and then just get a piece of paper and we're going to pick the same words. I'm going to start with should and I'm going to see how many times I can write it in 30 seconds. Okay, using neat handwriting not rushing it too much and as I go I'm also going to say each letter so I don't have to say it out loud I can just say it in my head if I wanted to so I would go S H O U L D should S H O U L D should okay and that's going to help it stick in my mind I would do that for 30 seconds, see how many times I wrote that in 30 seconds. I could keep a record of it somewhere. And then I can do the same for the word true and the same for the word number. OK, so the next technique I can use is a pyramid technique. Now, I'm going to use this for the word uh, number because true is quite a short word, so it wouldn't take me very long to do that one. So I'm going to choose to do the word number. And when I'm writing number in a pyramid, I'm going to put the N at the top. And then underneath that, I'm going to do the N and then the U. And I'm moving it over ever so slightly each time and adding on the next letter as I go. N, U, M, B. N, U, M, B, E. And then I'll finally finish with the whole word, N-U-M-B-E and R. Oh, and now I've written number. You can also see the word number down that side as well. 
Okay, the next way to practice is just to write the word three times. Um, so I'm going to do the word true for this, but I'm going to do it in a different colour. Okay, don't always have to stick to pencil. You can write in any pen that you like. You could even do it with paint if you wanted to. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word true and then I'm going to read it and underline it at the same time. True. I'm going to say the letters T-R-U-E, true. T-R-U-E, true. Okay, so I hope that has helped you a little bit in thinking of different ways that you can practice your spellings at home. Um, as I said, just five minutes a day, three words, the same three words, Monday to Friday. Get somebody to test you on those three words on the Monday and then see if you can get another three words. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.